You are welcome to the Niger Filmmaker, a podcast about Nigerian filmmakers, their films, and how we can build a diverse and functional industry. I'm your host, Selek God. On this episode, I'll be talking about creative license and the need to allow filmmakers to create. If you're a new listener, you're welcome and I hope you enjoy. Creative license, which is sometimes called artistic license is a creator's freedom to ignore the conventional rules that normally govern the art in which he or she works. To be clear, this doesn't excuse mediocre work. There's a difference between I don't find a film interesting versus the film is not interesting. The fact that you find an art piece uninteresting doesn't automatically mean it is. You are not the standard. There are different metrics to measure this which includes cultural impact, profit, level of craftsmanship from the cast and crew, and the story. In Nigeria, I think we have reached a stage where we are releasing a greater number of seemingly big movies. At a point, it might be helpful for the audience to decide the kind of films they like and you know the people telling them. In extensively developed film industries, you can differentiate the work of most directors from their peers based on the themes they tackle, the genres, and so on. It is easy to tell what Christopher Nolan will make versus Woody Allen, Shonda Rhimes, or Tyler Perry. Same thing goes for the studios. For example, what Blumhouse will make is different from what Marvel or Disney or DC will make and I think we're reaching a stage where Nigerian audiences have to you know decide like whose storytelling style whose house style you know they prefer which unique voice from the numerous directors we have they appreciate I think one thing that stands out in the case of Nigeria is because of the infancy of the industry most of the audience are, are witnessing the evolution of these filmmakers. Hence, you know, there have been a lot of, um, would I say, errors or, you know, opinions in what the filmmakers could have done differently. I think the audience should know, you know, know their preferences so that they don't expect Bollywood themes from a Nollywood film or a super prof from an action director. Right now, there are multiple production houses that have more than five films. So the audience can actually, you know, know what to expect from a particular director or studio based on their track record. And you know, there are enough films in Nigeria, there are enough films in the world for you to expect that every director is going to make something that you love. What I would like to say is respect the creator's decision to go down whatever rabbit hole they decide. And for the audience, decide whether it works for you within the bounds of what you have watched. The creator is making a statement with every shot and scene in the entire film and ultimately you have to decide whether this is someone you want to cheer on as they evolve and grow with their crafts. However, do not project your expectations on filmmakers that are creating from their truest and most authentic selves. If there's some dissonance with what you are watching, you are probably not the target audience. If you really need to see something from the industry, maybe you're the best person for the job. I would say you better roll up your sleeves and get to work. The world can't wait to see your vision on the big screen. We have come to the end of this episode. Remember to rate and review the podcast. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Selegal Film and the podcast at the Niger Film Pod to share your feedback. You can now support the podcast by visiting the website to donate. See you on the next episode. Have a good one.